Welcome to Framework Fortune and welcome back Framework Fortune community. I am your host Ben and you guys have been requesting a video for all the scanners that I have so this video is that video. I'm not going to go through and show you how to set up every single scanner because most of it is the same exact process just changing a few numbers so I'm gonna start with the scanner here which came from one of the subscribers to the channel longtime member Sways99 he created this scanner so full credit to him I haven't done anything to it it works pretty decent uh, for catching some low float rippers during the day after market open so this is one you can definitely check out now if you look on the side here these all say stock that is the filter so when you start out with nothing on your scanner here you just want to go up here and click add filter and then you click stock and you'll get a new stock filter right like this one so then you just have to click on this to find these settings here like last volume share percent change all of that is going to be in the stock filter this one is a study so you'll go to add filter and you'll just go down to study and then you'll be able to find the price change in this one change it to close put in these numbers and make sure you have this little ext checked and then five minutes right here five minutes is pretty important you can adjust these numbers if you want try it out and you can do that with all the scanners all the scanners I'm still pretty much experimenting with they all work decently enough but I'm sure there's always room for improvement so if you improve on one of those scanners please share it with us and also pay attention to down here this little area between the stocks that come up it says show make sure that number is correct make sure it's in stock sorted by symbol and ascending and then you'll hit scan to get your scan right there look up here and make sure that it's scanning all nasdaq stocks it could be a different type of scanner so one of the scanners is an nysc scanner so to change that you just click on all nasdaq stocks category and this is where you can find all NASDAQ stocks or whatever this is going to be switched to if it's different on any of the scanners. Now I threw this scanner in. It's not really one for day trading. It's for cheap dividend stocks. So if you're interested in that, you can take this scanner and tweak it some however you want to or try to just use it this way. This has the stock filter, but this has fundamental as a different one. So when you go to filter, you would click fundamental and then you can pull up that dividend yield. Now on this one, it's pretty important to look down here and set this bar right here where it says percent change, volume, market cap, dividend frequency, dividend, dividend yield. Those you'll have to add in. So to add those in, you go all the way to the right of this. I know you can't see it right now, but it's right under the scan button. There's a little gear bar and it'll pop up that little window and you click customize and then that will take you to where you can change everything that's at the top of here is your current set in this list so you can remove things from here when you remove it from here or you can add them to the bar from going over to here and there's a lot of stuff so it's easier when you're copying the settings from these scanners to just search what it is that you need to change it to the dividend frequency is going to be how much those dividends are paid out. So if it's an M, it's monthly. So every month you will get a dividend for holding shares of that stock. If it's A, it's annual. So you only get one payment a year. If it's Q, it's quarterly. So you will only get four payments a year. So using that, you're able to sort these. If you just click on one of these, if you want monthly dividend stocks or quarterly or annually. So you can sort them from there, but then also have the dividend amount here. So you can sort it by exactly the current amount that is being paid out. And then right there, it shows the dividend yield. So it makes it very nice and easy to look for those dividend stocks. To get to the scan window, if you've not done it yet, you just click up here on scan and then over here, this little purple symbol right beside stock hacker and click stock hacker and that will bring you to this screen you're just going to be naked when you start so like i said just start with that filter button if you have any problems or any questions leave them in the comments below and let me know but i'm just gonna head on out so enjoy the scanner settings roll the scanner settings <laughs> <laughs> 